I'm a Beverly Hills dog walker, but I'm an expert at Friday the 13th. I'm a celebrity personal assistant, but I'm an expert in The Real Housewives. I'm a screenwriter, but I'm an expert in Bob Dylan. Welcome to The Experts. Our game is played in four rounds, and in round one, our experts are going to answer ten questions apiece. We're going to start with Tim, our Friday the 13th expert. Yeah. Get it, Here we go, Tim. What is the first and last name of the franchise's iconic killer in a hockey mask? Jason Voorhees. At what camp do the murders take place in the original Friday the 13th? Camp Crystal Lake. That's right. What was the first film in the series to use the hockey mask? Friday 13th Part 3 in 3D. Question 3 is right. <laughs> what film features a sequence fans refer to as the homoerotic shaving scene? You know it. Homoerotic shaving scene? <laughs> um, I didn't get it. Shaving? Like shaving shaving? Is that right? Sh oh, uh, Friday 13th Part 9, Jason Goes to Hell. Jason Goes to Hell, yeah. the final Friday. It yes. took me a long way to get there, but so you got sad. it. Like, this is question five. You haven't missed one yet. What character in the original film tells new arrivals at Camp Crystal Lake, you're doomed if you stay here, the place is cursed? Crazy cursed. Ralph. Crazy Ralph is right. What is the subtitle of Friday the 13th, part we're seven? Gonna, we're going to lose. Uh, the New Blood. Other than the prologue in the first film, what is the only film that shows children attending the summer camp? Uh, Friday 13, part 6, Jason Lives. <laughs> you are Locked right, in. 7 for oh 7 as we head to number 8. What is the first <laughs> action audiences see in 3D at the beginning of Friday the 13th, part 3? Uh, it's uh, uh, Sheets waving in the wind. I'm sorry, it's Jason removing a machete Ooh. from his shoulder. Okay. Question nine. When Ned, when Ned asked Marcy in the first film, if you were a flavor of ice cream, what would it be? Rocky what is her Road. reply? What's her reply? <laughs> Rocky Road. And that's right. Your final question. You've missed just one. Who composed the famous Friday the 13th theme music? Harry Manfredini. Can you sing a little bit of it? <laughs> <laughs> very nice. You did very well there, Tim, missing just one. And we go now to you, Jacob. Your work cut out for you. The category is Bob Dylan. In what three Minnesota towns or cities has Dylan lived? Uh, Hibbing, Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's Hibbing, Minneapolis, and Duluth where he was uh, born. What is Dylan's full birth name? Robert Allen Zimmerman. That's correct. What item is blowing in the wind? The answer. That's right. <laughs> what Dylan album ranked fourth on Rolling Stone's 2012 list of the 500 greatest albums of all time? Uh, Blonde on Blonde. It's Highway 61 Revisited. <gasps> Blonde on Blonde is better. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. What 1966 event in Dylan's life precipitated an almost eight-year hiatus from touring? The motorcycle accident. That's right. What Dylan song was accompanied by a promotional film, a precursor to the music video that shows him singing and flipping cue cards? The Subterranean Homesick Blues. Question seven. That's right. What band is fronted by Dylan's son, Jacob? The Wallflowers. Jacob. That's right. I knew that. I didn't know. Question eight. <laughs> what Dylan song was written about a rich man who received only a six-month sentence for murdering his servant? Um, William... The, the death of Lonesome Death of Hattie Carroll. That is correct. Question nine. What is Dylan holding on the cover of the Bringing It All Back Home album? No idea. It's a white cat. And your last question. What are the first seven words of the times they are a-changing? Can we sing it? <laughs> <laughs> we need an answer. Come gather around people wherever you roam. That's seven words. That's correct. Wow. Well done, Jacob. I'm so right now. <laughs> well, here is your chance to overcome the intimidation, Ruth. Right. The Real Housewives is your category, and here we go. Question one. On what cable network do first-run episodes of the Real Housewives franchise air? Bravo. That's right. What yes. location was in the title of the first Real Housewives series? The OC. That's right. We'll call it Orange County. What informal name, Ruth, do the New Jersey housewives give their breasts? Boobies. That's right. <laughs> what is Atlanta housewife Nene's first real name? Real mm, first name. Uh, oh, shoot. Lanessa? It's Lanathia. Lanathia. Oh, that's close. Question five. Name either of the first two singles released by New York City housewife Lou Ann. Uh, money can't buy you class. Money can't buy you class. <laughs> the other is she, 
chic c'est la vie. Uh, question six now. What food did Orange County housewife Alexis spit into her napkin at an all-girls dinner after lecturing the others about manners? Uh, veal? It's foie gras. Uh, question seven. Who was the first housewife promoted from friend of the housewives to a series regular? Oh, no. I do not know. Brandy Glanville from oh, Beverly Brandy. Hills. Brandy. What do the Orange County housewives call champagne? Champs. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Question nine. In the Real Housewives of New Jersey, what kind of business does Caroline's son dream of starting? Uh, car wash. Okay. Well, any Thing specific Make about it car wash. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> question 10, your last question. What DC housewife famously crashed a White House dinner with her husband? Mikhail Salahi, that rude bitch. That is, that's exactly right. Folks, really well done. We're going to be back with round two.